Hi guys, uh, I'm here at the gardens and I just thought I'd uh, show you this. I think um, some of you have been pruning this over the past few days. This is our cherry laurel hedge. You can see, if I walk there, you can see the cherry laurel hedge and it runs all the way up to the top. Uh, it runs all the way, all the way across the garden. Um, I just wanted to show you this because it's interesting for plant uh, protection purposes. Um, it's raining today, so you might see a bit sort of. So I've got my raincoat on. I'm very smart. Um, um, cherry laurel, um, that's its common name. Uh, Prunus laroseracus. Uh, this one I think is rotundifolia because it has such large, big leaves. Um, if you can see this big rounded leaf um, normally uh, it's a very robust evergreen shrub uh, quite a large shrub if you let it grow it will grow into a big tree um, tough as old boots as we say um, but this particularly this hedge here particularly this bit here which this is on the northern side of the hedge um, and but in it's showing some quite nasty um, diseases here. So I'll just show you this leaf here, if I can pull it off. There you go. Look at that. That's horrible, isn't it? Um, so you can see the leaf is turning yellow. It's deformed. There are uh, brown bits that have fallen out um, and it's looking wholly um, not very well at all. And these li this is repeated across the face of the hedge. So it's really um, affecting the appearance of the hedge. Um, if I show you there, you can see, if you see that, and then further down there, you can see quite substantially damaged leaves. You see this leaf here, and here, and there we go. And up, further up we go, we can see Again, more damaged areas there. So um, there you go. Um, so what's wrong with this poor plant? Um, there's a couple of things that are wrong with this plant. Um, the first one, if I can, I, sh I didn't bring my secateurs, which I should have done because then I could, uh, there you go, tug it off. Um, it will be all right. Um, there you go. Um, first thing wrong with this plant is it's got um, downy mildew. Downy mildew on the underneath of the leaf surface. Downy mildew. If it was powdery mildew it would be all over the leaf surface above and below. This is downy mildew underneath the leaf surface and if you turn that round you can see the corresponding yellowing as the, the, as the fungus is uh, penetrating the leaf and killing off the stems and destroying the leaf. Now what happens is um, the the the, uh, the mildew fungus is destroying uh, sections of leaf tissue. Those sections die off and fall away, leaving a very ragged leaf. You can see it on the surface here. Look at that. That's quite bad. Um, I'll put a link into the RHS website, and uh, you can have a look at um, controls. There aren't. There's not much we can do about it. We can prune out the badly affected bits, but really um, it's just looking after the tree itself. So maybe a feed, uh, and but I think maybe we pruned it a bit too hard last year, and that has just um, got some of this soft growth damaged. Could just, just be weather conditions this year, particularly in the autumn here, it's quite damp. So, downy, uh, no, yeah, downy mildew on um, the plant. Further up the plant there's some other damage which I think is caused by a different disease. Um, let's find it here. Um, there's a disease called shot hole disease which is quite common in um, cherries. Um, you can see the leaf there the, leaf's actually, the leaf itself is actually quite okay, but there are sections where uh, sections that have just died away and leaving a sort of a sh looks like it's been shot. The holes are often quite circular. Um, now that can be caused by two things: um, a leaf spot fungus 
or a bacterial disease. Uh, it's difficult to tell without analysis which one it is. But again, there's not much you can do about it. Um, the disease is quite different to the downy mildew because it leaves quite regular holes in the leaf structure rather than with the downy mildew it sort of destroyed the whole leaf. So there's a, 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 there's a leaf again with, I couldn't see right through there, look. Um, so that's shot hole disease. Could be a fungal infection, could be a bacterial infection, we're not sure. So quite, quite a complex range of issues going on with this little hedge um, and um, we'll have to look after it I think. There you go, just thought I'd do that. Cheers, I'm going inside now and having a coffee because I'm wet. Bye.